friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mrs. Vinosa and I'm a kinder teacher in Texas. I will be starting my seventh year of teaching. This will be my third year in kindergarten, my third year in this classroom. So I've got Alex helping me out today. It's very hot and this is my very small classroom and it's driving me nuts that they put extra tables in here. So we went ahead and moved some of the tables. We stacked them on top of each other. I got my little fridge and microwave set up. Just moved a little bit of boxes around. So what I'm about to go do right now is ask admin if I can take out this extra furniture because I'm just not going to use it and it's just wasting space. So I'm going to see if I find anybody and I'll be right back. All right, so I just spoke with our the head of our custodial staff and he said, no, we have to keep all of the furniture that is currently in here. At some point next week, they're gonna shoot us an email and then we can get rid of stuff that we don't need in here. So that's really disappointing because my classroom setup is typically literally the first thing I like to do. I like to have all the furniture where it's gonna be. I like to just lay it all out. So I'm just not going to think about the furniture then. And I'm gonna get this bulletin board up. I have a bunch of titles that I printed out. So I'm gonna get that up on the wall and just start hanging stuff up. Right, y'all so we've been here for like a couple of hours but i swear it feels like we've been here for like five hours it feels like we didn't do much hanging up stuff on the walls takes a really long time the most of that is out of the way so i'm just gonna give you a quick walkthrough of stuff that i've done so as i've mentioned this is my third year in this classroom so the first year that i was in here i did put up this cute little white shiplap style wall and after i did that and went back to lakeshore i realized that they sell the actual paper but it's fine. So this is like individual border that I bought and then I just stapled it. Yeah, that took a little while, but I haven't taken it down since the first year I put it up. So it was definitely worth it and love the look. This is what we call our instructional wall. So we have our objectives listed for the week and I typically just print them out on just white paper and I slip it in here so I can easily just change it out throughout the week. And then we always display our daily schedule and lesson plan. This piece of furniture I brought over from my pre-k room and I keep the crayon caddies here and then there's like little extra storage down here. This part of my wall is always my little calendar area and then I have a poster of sight words that I'll put up here and then up here I'm gonna hang up my read aloud pocket chart and I usually display like extra vocabulary. This is the finished bulletin board. These I also printed out my first year and I've been using the same little ice cream trackers. This is what we call our data wall. They're either tracking their letter recognition and their letter sounds. And then once they master that, they start tracking their high frequency words and their reading level. And then here I have all of the pins with numbers and they'll have a couple of pins to be tracking their progress throughout the year. This border I got last year from the Target dollar section. I did not use it. I love how it looks. All of these numbers are new to my wall this year. I had been wanting a number line. I only displayed 0 to 100 and then I did want larger numbers 1 through 20. So that's all that I have on this wall for right now. I did print out another bulletin title that's going to say wonderful work. So maybe tomorrow I'll go ahead and put that up wonderful work 
and I have these black laminated sheets that I'll probably put up as well so I can put up some of my kids work inside the classroom and all of this down here is basically a brand new library that our school district got us but I just have such a tiny classroom that I haven't unpacked it. Plus, they gave it to us right before COVID started. So yeah, I just have not gotten a chance to go through all of that. The blue boxes are for leveled readers, which were also provided by my district. This is a set of my own books. And this is stuff that I keep close to me when I'm doing whole group instruction. These were the bins that I got from Target that my kids were using last year for in-person learning. And over here, this is seating that I would typically put in my library and I typically set up my library right in this corner so again I don't want this big piece of furniture so hopefully they can take that out and I'm able to set up my library and I also have this rug that I cleaned I think I got this at Ross or Marshall's for like less than $20 and I set it up in my library area I have some little seat cushions that go on the floor and then these little wobble stools I use in my small group table. So up here, I have all of these bins that I temporarily put on this table because I'm probably going to rearrange them. I might get that done tomorrow. These are some recycling items. I always like to have real world items whenever we are talking about recycling. This is my whole group easel that typically goes in the front of my classroom, but I'm just going to leave it here so it's not in the way. So all of the furniture against this wall hopefully can be removed. As of now, I'm thinking I'll just have this piece of furniture against the wall and this will be where my students keep their notebooks and on top I will set up the communal supplies. All of the stuff up here is thankfully organized. Before we headed out for the summer, I was able to organize a lot of my center material. So if you are interested in seeing how I did that, what the finished product is, I will link that vlog in the description. But yeah, this is where my communal supplies are. These are my leveled readers that I will put in the library. This is basically my literacy stuff. So letter manipulatives. The centers in here are already printed and ready to go. This is all of my math manipulatives and my science manipulatives. These are my leveled readers. These are my personal books. So as you can see, I don't have a giant collection. And then this is my little teacher corner. These are my binders where I have all of my hard copies, my little snack area. And something new that I did this year is print out my favorite quote, Be the change you wish to see in the world by Mahatma Gandhi. This quote just keeps me going. And then this is just extra filing stuff. I bought these my first year of teaching. And then my closet. I do need to take some of these things out and organize. These are my pocket charts that I need to hang up. I keep all of my border hung. And in this last closet that I have, I put all of my art supplies basically. I do need to take a few things out. And then I just have like extra poster boards. I'm probably not going to set up all of these computers so that's going to stay in here. So just extra stuff down here. And that is it for today. This is all of the energy that I have. But I'll be back throughout the week to keep working on stuff. Tomorrow, like I said, I think I'll finish up half of that wall. And I'll sort all of my bins and put them back here. And we'll just keep going from there. Still have a good chunk of my day left. So we have some errands. and just going to try to enjoy the rest of our day. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello friends, it is Tuesday now. It's about 12.30. I just got to campus. I slept in this morning. I'm really trying to treasure these last few days that I'm able to sleep in because teachers officially come back on Monday, August 16th for our in-service days for that week. And we typically get two weeks, but this year we're only getting one week. Tomorrow will be a data day for us on campus. Our principal asked us to come in and review data for our classes, which I haven't mentioned to you guys Last week I was checking my roster and so far I only have nine students, which was surprising. So whatever pre-K students are coming over to kinder will have that data available. But yeah, since it's a data day, our campus is starting to distribute laptops. All of our district teachers do get laptops supplied by the district. 
we turn them in at the end of the year. So actually I'm gonna eat first, then I'm going to go get my laptop and then I'll get started on what I need to do in here. I forgot to mention I did go to Target this morning to buy a new surge protector. I have no idea what happened to the one I had here. Like I already looked through all of my closet and I did not see it. So I don't, I really don't remember what I did with it. So I just went ahead and bought another one. Either way, the last one that I had wasn't long enough. So this one was eight feet and my little power cord to my microwave is pretty short. So this is nicer because last time I think it was literally hanging up like on the wall. That's how short it was. I also got these little tasty bites. Um, so I brought just rice and some roasted cauliflower from home and I'm just gonna dump this in here and boom, that'll be lunch. I'm sorry if the AC is loud, y'all. It's really hot. I can't even tell if it's really working, but the number line is really bothering me because it stops just like right there. So I'm just being real extra. I think I'm going to switch the number line over to this wall, like up here on top. And I'm going to make those numbers go across. So I'm basically redoing what I did yesterday. Hashtag teacher problems. Here we go. y'all it's a little bit past 3 15 and i'm just gonna call it quits for today so as y'all saw i changed my number line to this wall and i stretched out the 1 through 20 number line here and i know you probably can't see the title very well but it says wonderful work and i have these black sheets that i'll probably staple onto the wall and put paper clips on just like I kind of did right there in that wall. And I'll use this to display student work. So I'll just get that done at some point. I, once I have a better estimate of how many students I'll have, which I got the chance to look at my new updated roster and now I'm at 17 kids. So that's still a small class size, like fingers crossed. Like if it could just be like 20 max, that will be beautiful. But we'll see. Something else I got to do was just organize these kind of just by color. So I am going to reprint new labels for that at some point. What else did I get done over here? 
I got this little garland pack at Target. This is my library bucket where I put in different kinds of props and retelling puppets in here. I'm really sad that I haven't been able to set up my library. Hopefully next week they're able to take out the furniture we don't need because it's driving me nuts. Like I can't set up my library if, if this piece of furniture is here. So we'll see what happens. I put up my read aloud pocket chart. I put up my calendar numbers. And all of my calendar numbers are kind of themed and I have found them for free just by searching on Pinterest. And this calendar I got like my very first year of teaching at the Target dollar spot. It was only like $3. It's a like Dr. Seuss themed as you can see. So I've had the same calendar. What else? I did move my clock over here. The one that was there like hadn't been working. I switched out the batteries. Still was not working. So I do like for my clock to be like in a central point where I can see it just wherever I'm standing in the classroom. So I don't love this spot, but I guess I'll be okay. <laughs> and yep, my number line is up there. I think I want to give this away to a teacher that'll need it now that I have my little filing rolling cart. I'll also have to find a spot for these. These are little vocabulary books. I had a couple of extra bins that I placed down here. So this is where my students put their homework folders and this is where I keep my whiteboards. What else? So at this table, I still have my carpet. I'm gonna ask somebody to help me install these. Um, this is extra bulletin paper that I'm gonna put in my outside bulletin. These are the individual student supplies. I'm just gonna leave those here. These are my curriculum read alouds, which I have more big books over here so we'll see what happens with the furniture at the very least i guess i'll switch this over here and this one over here like if i have to keep it um and my recycling can stay there the unpacked library is still going to remain here i still have like my little seats my flexible seating in here i'm going to leave those chairs there there's really not much else i did I just bought this little organizer, but I had it. I had all my desk stuff in this bathroom organizer that I'll probably donate now. All of my newly purchased things over the summer are still in here. This is kind of how I organized all of my go to materials. Got all of my pens that I use, highlighters, markers. Post-its, paper clips, rubber bands, good old magnetic tape. I do still need to put my schedule together, so I'll leave these here. There are some things that I still need to take out of this closet, but this is more or less what it's going to look like. That's my small group caddy. Um, I have like more posters in here that I need to hang up, but I don't know when I'll do that yet. That's kind of it for this section. Like I said, my fridge is doing well. My fridge and my microwave were a big splurge. I didn't purchase these until my second year of teaching. And this fridge I bought from Target. And I really wanted this one specifically because I like having a separate freezer. And this freezer is awesome. It gets really cold, so it's perfect for when I get the kids ice cream or popsicles for their treats. And yep, it's just currently empty. And that's it for now as far as my classroom setup, y'all. I really hope, as I've mentioned a million times, that I can get this extra furniture out of the classroom. If not, I'm gonna have to figure it out. So I'll definitely check back in with y'all next week and let y'all know what ends up happening with this furniture situation. That is all that I have for you, friends. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if so, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure you do so that you can see what I'm up to this school year. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.